Notion just had its in-person conference called Make with Notion with many exciting announcements. So much AI. But the main thing was Notion Agents, which comes in the form of an assistant that you can talk to and is, it essentially does stuff for you. But what I want to know is, is it any good? For some quick context, if you live in San Francisco, you've probably heard of people talk about agents, but if you don't know what they are, you can kind of think of a normal LLM call, like a question and an answer. You ask a question, it generates a response. With agents, they essentially have their own autonomous execution loop. So you can ask a question, it can determine by itself if it needs to pull in additional information or execute a task in an external tool and then generate the response. So I don't have any insider information on Notion. These are just my impressions as a longtime Notion user. But I'd say that when it comes to AI, Notion hasn't necessarily been at the forefront. Like they've been reacting relatively slowly when it comes to actually adopting AI. But the benefit of this is there are all of these startups figuring out the best use cases and the best UXs for them. And then Notion kind of gets to build it in once it reaches some level of product market fit. They've done that with meeting notes, research, and now we have agents. So they have a really ambitious, though maybe not super revolutionary vision for agents in the workplace where you can set up a fleet or a team of agents to collaboratively work together on a project and connect with all of your tools. But today you just have that one customizable and personalizable assistant where essentially whatever you can do in Notion today, this assistant can also do for you. To get started, you just have to look for that face icon in the corner which will open a new chat window. And from there you can personalize your assistant. You can give it a name. And I actually thought this was really interesting. This is actually the first time I feel like an AI tool has asked me to name it. So I actually ended up like stuck here for a few minutes because I was like, what the heck am I supposed to name you, Larry? But I don't think this is just to humanize the AI and to make it cute, likely because they are trying to introduce custom agents and more agents in the future. Having the name and the icon is an easy way for you to differentiate between them. But additionally, you can also set up some instructions for the AI so you can determine if you want it to be a more creative AI or one that's more of a productivity coach. And you can also choose the model you want to use. So Claude Sonnet 4 and GPT-5 are the options, which is great. And so once you do that, you can now ask it questions about things in your workspace. You can have it build new pages for you and you can even ask it random things as you would ChatGPT. What I actually spent the most of my time doing was having the AI build new pages for me. I actually think this is super exciting because I think it tries to tackle what I think is one of the biggest problem users face when it comes to using Notion, which is actually using its features to its potential. Like there's very clearly a learning curve with databases and pages. And that's why there is a thriving marketplace of templates for Notion. But now with the agent, you can just describe what you want and it builds it for you. But I definitely want to call out, there is still somewhat of a learning curve here. Essentially all good vibe coding rules also apply here. Mainly that before you have it execute on tasks like building pages or building a database, it's good to build up that context first. Make sure you're aligned on the use case and the requirements before it actually goes out and does it. The first page I did, I tried to completely one shot it and the result was honestly pretty unusable. And from there, I couldn't even really iterate from there to get to a point where it was usable. But the second time I really tried to build up that context and the result I got was far better. And it was actually something that I definitely could not have made myself, which is awesome. However, I do have a few things to call out. First is I feel like generally speaking, it is pretty quick to jump the gun and try to create that page or that database and be useful to you immediately. This is the general paradigm when it comes to writing code, but I think it totally works when you're writing code because you're committing your changes and you can revert to the previous state if something goes wrong. But here, because I don't have that, I was a little overwhelmed at times with all of the things that it was creating or changing. 
Like I'm doing these tests in my real personal notion. So I was scared that it would try and update one of my existing pages when I wouldn't want it to, and there would be no way for me to return to that previous state. But overall, I think it's such an interesting direction for Notion. They are honestly in such a good position to be capitalizing on AI tooling in the workspace. I'm especially really excited to follow along on their custom agents and to see what those will be able to do in the future. However, having spent a bit of time building in the productivity space like a year ago, I often feel like tools like this can have really great demos. Like it's really cool when you can generate a whole thing or take all of this data and organize it in one click. But the question I always wonder is, are people actually going to pay for this? I don't know. And I think unlike meeting notes and enterprise search, with custom agents, there isn't really a working blueprint for Notion to follow. It'll be interesting to see what they end up building, how people receive it, and how they iterate from there. But yeah, that is it for me today. Let me know if this is something you would use or what you think about it in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one.